Eli Roth. <laughs> Eli Roth. I just want to get into your head because I, I don't understand you. Nobody understands you. Do you guys understand him? The Green Inferno was created by, of course, Eli Roth. And this movie is about a bunch of college students who traveled all the way to Peru to take part of this rainforest protest. Then after that, they try to leave Peru, but then their plane crashes, and this trap captures them to torture them and eat them alive. So yeah, they're cannibals. <laughs> now when I heard about this movie, I was like, I know where this is going. There's gonna be some gore, some bad acting, and some shitty characters. This guy has done films such as Cabin Fever and Hostel. Some people didn't mind, but seeing a movie like The Green Inferno, you know how it's gonna go down. Well, I have just watched this film and yeah, most of my predictions have pretty much come true. But I gotta give credit because this film actually has some good qualities. First of all, the suspense in this film is really executed well. Once these guys are captured by the tribe and eating them alive and shit or whatever, you just want to ask yourself what next, what next, what next? And when we get to the gory scenes, it gets extremely cringeworthy. The effects for the most part with these gory scenes look really well, except for maybe one scene where there was some obvious CGI. And it looked pretty fake, it's pretty obvious. But other than that, it's really cringeworthy and it gets all over your skin and don't judge, but I kind of felt hungry. Yeah, I was just sitting there with my popcorn and I saved the popcorn for the gory scenes, munching and licking my fingers as if I was one of those cannibals eating people. I don't know, it felt pretty weird and disgusting, but pretty awesome. By the way, the tribe is well designed. Look at them, they're all covered in red. This woman, very intimidating and really creepy. But aside from that, this movie kind of fails. Now, you got these characters, once you see them for the first time, and I mean the first time in the start of the movie, you kind of hate them already. I mean, some of these people in this movie are total dicks. The rest, you just don't care about them because they are so underdeveloped. That is like one of the deadliest sins of filmmaking. You cannot make your main characters whom you're supposed to like be a bunch of assholes. You really need to care about them and hope that they'll survive this unfortunate catastrophe. There is this love interest in this movie that is so underdeveloped as well. And like I said, the characters in this movie who are not assholes are very underdeveloped. And that is so unfortunate. Also. The acting is pretty lousy too. One of the characters is literally screaming his lungs out. And there's this one scene where the character is going to the village, surrounded by the tribe, and some of them just cannot stop screaming. And it's so over the top. I mean, look at the poster. This is the scene in the movie. Also, I had no idea what kind of tone they are going for for this movie. First, it looks like that they're gonna go for horror. Then they're going for comedy. For example, when the plane goes down and they get hunted down by the tribe, it's really tragic. But the movie plays it in a way that it's kind of funny and you have no idea if you should laugh at this. And then there are scenes where they sorta of try to shove the comedy up your throat, with some of your characters being a bunch of idiots. The score to this movie is... okay. But during the very tragic scenes, the score doesn't match the tone and seriousness of the scene, and you can't take anything seriously. Now, people have said a lot of times that Eli Roth is the greatest horror master ever, Hmm, I don't know. I see John Carpenter as one of the greatest horror masters, but Eli Roth? Come on. And you just ask yourself, what is so special about this guy? Well, the truth is that there are some groups of people who just love to see his movies. So basically, Eli Roth has a split reputation. Some people like his movies, some people don't. And if you're a fan of Eli Roth, love seeing all the gory stuff, then 
I think you'll like this film. And no, I'm not a fan of Eli Roth, so I can't exactly say that this movie is great for me. I've seen it and I've made my observation. I'm giving The Green Inferno 3 chopped off heads out of 10. <sighs> I think I'm hungry again. So, that is my take of The Green Inferno. Thank you for watching. More views on the way. Mm.